Now here, we'll touch on doing uh, debugging your workspace. We get a lot of calls where folks say that they open up their microstation and their microstation doesn't look right. Their drawings, the line styles aren't right. The text isn't right. The whatever's not right. It's not finding their reference files and, and things of that nature. And so then they say, well, we've uninstalled and reinstalled microstation a couple of times and it didn't fix any of that. That's because those type issues are workspace issues and not microstation issues. Basically, if you can open up MicroStation, open up a file, you're able to use the tools in there that are there and save a file and get out. And MicroStation is, is working as, as desired as it's supposed to. If you open up a drawing and it doesn't look correct and, oh, my lines aren't right, my fonts aren't right, that's a workspace issue. And we also get folks that say, well, you know, my, my colleagues and I all are running MicroStation and theirs looks right, mine doesn't. What, what's going on? And again, they've tried uninstalling, reinstalling, won't, won't help. You need to then run this debug. So if you do a right click on the MicroStation icon properties, put in this debug here, and you run the debug, it will then bring up this black splash screen. You'll see all this text go by. And you will see that it says that um, uh, this document was saved to such and such a location. And it creates this debug text file. And in that debug text file, you can open that with like Notepad, Notepad++. And in there, it starts at the top of the document down through all the config files. And it'll say like in here, processing macro file. And then there, like it's looking to the personal.ucf shows you what's being loaded and so forth. And it just starts at the top, goes down through every config file that gets loaded. Then towards the bottom, you see the configuration variable summary. That has the every variable listed from A to Z through there and where they're being set and how. Just like you see there, the bundle deployment image, GUID, GUID says system. It'll say in at the variable, system, workspace, work set, uh, user, organization. It tells you what level and where it's being set at so you know which config file to go back and, and look at to see what is being set wrong or, you know. So it's either the variable is not set at all or it's set to a different letter or different location and different network. So that's where you want to compare the working system to a non-working system and see what's different about them, and you can find it in this debugging um, you know, uh, text file. So that should help you to debug your workspace and any issues regarding you know, your resources not being available. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.